Hello dear students, welcome to our next video. In this video, we will be seeing what are the various factors that affect surface tension. So let's begin. So basically we will be starting with what is meant by surface tension. Surface tension is a tension of the surface film of a liquid caused by attraction of a particle in the surface layer by the bulk of the liquid which tends to minimize surface area. So students you know that surface tension that is it, ha it is a surface phenomenon which tries to minimize the surface area right. So surface tension is the property of surface of a liquid that allows it to resist an external force. This surface tension arises from the cohesive force between molecules at the surface. SI unit for surface tension is Newtons per meter and CGS unit is dynes per centimeter. Now moving to next. Now coming to the actual point that is the factors that affect surface tension. The first point is temperature. So students generally surface tension decreases with an increase in temperature. This is because higher temperature leads to increased molecular motion and consequently reduces cohesion at the surface. Students assume that you have kept water for boiling, right? Aapne water boil hone ke rakha hua hai. You will notice that bubbles start forming at the bottom before boiling, right? This is because at higher temperature water molecule gains energy and moves more freely, reducing surface tension. Getting? That's why we can say that surface tension is inversely proportional to temperature. Getting? So as the temperature increases, surface tension decreases. Moving to next one. So next parameter is type of molecule. In this case, the substances with strong cohesive force like hydrogen bonding or van der Waals force tends to have higher surface tension. For example, compare water and oil. Water molecules are more cohesive due to hydrogen bonding, right, leading to higher surface tension. Whereas in case of oil, uh, the molecular force is weaker, right? That is they have a intermolecular force which is comparatively weak resulting into lower surface tension. Okay. Moving to the third factor affecting surface tension. So the next factor is impurities. So students surface tension can be affected by the presence of impurities in the liquid. In many cases impurities can disrupt the cohesive force between the molecules leading to a decrease in surface tension. Now for ease of understanding let me give you a small example. Consider or uh, when you add a detergent to water you will observe a decrease surface tension right. So this detergent molecule they disrupt the cohesive force between water molecules at the surface reducing surface tension. Here your detergent is nothing but impurity right so when there is impurity it may reduce surface tension then moving to the next factor so next factor affecting surface tension is concentration of solute the addition of solute to a liquid can impact surface tension for example adding certain surfactants that is surface active agents can reduce surface tension surfactants have molecules with hydrophilic that is water attracting and hydrophobic that is water repelling part which can disrupt the cohesive force at the surface. So students another example for concentration of solute is consider dissolving salt in water right. So when you dissolve salt in water it influences surface tension. As you increase the concentration of salt the surface tension of water decreases because salt molecules interfere with the cohesive force between water molecules getting therefore uh, concentration of solute is also an important factor which affects surface tension moving to next point so next point is pressure change in pressure can affect surface tension although the effect is often small an increase in pressure 
generally causes a slight increase in surface tension while a decrease in pressure can lead to decrease in surface tension students consider a water droplet on a surface right a, on a surface of a table or floor anywhere if you gently press the droplet with your fingertip you will notice the droplet flattening right you will observe that whatever the droplet is there that is flattening the applied pressure reduces surface tension at the point of contact right so therefore we have said that pressure has impact on surface tension to a little extent okay moving to next one so next is nature of the container the container or vessel in which liquid is placed can influence surface tension for example a liquid in a capillary tube may exhibit a different surface tension when the same liquid is placed in a wider container right so you have already observed this during your practicals right so the surface tension that has been exhibited during uh, i mean the one which is in capillary tube and the one which is in a wider container like that of your beaker is comparatively different therefore the container also plays a role in surface tension moving to the next one so the next parameter is molecular size the size of molecule in liquid can influence surface tension large molecules may experience weaker cohesive force leading to lower surface tension that is surface tension is inversely proportional to molecular size students compare surface tension of water and the heavy liquid like mercury mercury has a larger molecules resulting in weaker cohesive force and lower surface tension that too uh, when it is compared to water right therefore it is said that inverse relation exists between molecular size and surface tension moving to the next factor so next factor is ph of the solution change in ph can alter the ionization state of molecule at the surface ultimately influencing surface tension for example students adding an acidic or basic substance to water can result in change in ph which ultimately result in change in surface tension for example by adding an acid like vinegar you will observe that there is decrease in surface tension whereas when you add baking soda to that of water you will observe that there is increase in surface tension thus the ph affects the surface tension moving to the next one so next is electric field the electric field can influence the distribution of charges at surface affecting the surface tension of the liquid for example place a charge object near water droplet the electric field from the charge object can affect the orientation of water molecule at the surface altering the surface tension getting therefore electric field also affects the surface tension so that's all students i hope you have understood the various factors that affect surface tension thank you